Hey guys, this is Zara for Trans Youth. Um, so this week's topic is basically trans allies, or not so much allies. Um, and what I mean by that is basically who have the best intentions. They realize that trans people are misunderstood by, by mainstream society and they want to help, but they, what they're doing isn't really helping. And by that I mean they don't really understand what they're talking about. Um, now, if you ask me, any person who is cisgender, I mean, you can be a, a full-on trans supporter, and you can have a million trans friends and everything, but if you're cisgender, I'm sorry, but you don't get what it's like to be trans. Um, we can explain it to you as best you can, but it's just... It's just not an easy thing to go through, and it's really impossible to know exactly what it's like unless you live it yourself. Um, and and that said, the majority of the people who are who are trying to say these things in the media, who are trying to say what it's like for a trans person, they're cisgender because there are very few trans people who are who are in the spotlight, who are everyday names in this, in our society, I guess. Um, there are a few, but not very many. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay, so, so what I mean by them saying the wrong thing, for example, is, um, what's her name says this, a lot. Whenever she talks about trans people, Barbara Walters, Barbara Walters, um, she will say, so, she was born a man. And I have a problem with that, because I wasn't born a man. I'm a trans woman, and I was not born a man. I was born a baby. Um, and so was every biological f female and every biological male. They were all born babies, and some grew up to be men, and some grew up to be women. Nobody is born a man. I was born in a male body. I was not born a man. That's the difference. And when they say that, it it doesn't give the right message. It it makes them think that I went from being this big burly man to being what I am now. And that's not true because well, I just wasn't. Um you know, like, and, and that gives people the wrong idea. That gives people the idea that I'm just trying to be something I'm not, I guess. Which isn't the case for any trans person, of course. That we're trying to be our true selves is the real thing that's going on here. Um, what's another example of something they say? I can't even think of any right now. Um, I don't know. Oh, when people discuss um, SRS, for example, it's still a common belief that when a trans woman goes to have sexual reassignment surgery that they chop the dick off. And, you know, I guess... I guess if you're not really putting much thought into it, then that's, I guess, no, that's not what happens. I can tell you that right now, but I don't know. I guess that's just the first conclusion that people come to. Um, basically what happens is it gets inverted, but you see what I mean? That the information is, is not getting it there properly. It's, it's being skewed because it's not being told by the right people. Um, like, for example, if I was on television, if I was to describe the trans experience to a large group of people, I think I could probably do it in a way that would make people feel for us and sympathize for us. Not that we're asking for sympathy or anything, but, but they'd certainly be more understanding. I really do feel that. And, you know, I, I hope that's what I'm doing with, with my YouTube channel and, and, of course, Trans Youth channel here. That's my biggest goal, is to make the world an easier place for us. Um, 
so really what I have to say about this topic is that people need the proper education from the right people. Now, of course there's still going to be a lot of cisgender people trying to help out the trans community, and that of course is fantastic, but they have to be doing it in the right way. Even if they are never going to fully understand it, there's still the right and the wrong things to say, like what I just explained, for example, about the SRS, and about me not being born a man. Um, yeah, like, so we can give them the education. They can... They can find out what it's really about, for the most part, anyway. Like, people who are on TV like that, they're supposed to really research a topic before they, they discuss it, right? As far as I am concerned, that's what they're sh that that's what they should be doing. Um, okay, yeah. So that's what I have to say about the topic. Um, we'll see if things change in the future because I think that I think that there's a lot more trans people who are taking pride in who they are, and I think maybe eventually we'll see a lot more who are well known for various reasons, whether it be I don't know sports or movies or this and that, politics, I don't know. I would like to see that in the future, and hopefully that'll be the case. We'll see. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so this is Zara for Trans Youth, of course. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, you can do that right here in the, on our page. Um, so su subscribe to us if you haven't already. And yeah, love you guys video with this and this we're going to be talking about Kinder Eggs and how they use, and, uh, they now use blue wrappers for their boys, boys toys and pink wrappers for their uh, girls their, toys, their which never used to be the case but it is now.